Your Trojan horse. Toys are amusing, Admiral. This could be useful in keeping out uninvited guests for the next 15 minutes, which should be all the time I'll need to destroy your world. Trojan horse ploy. It'd be more company to me if I could find a way to checkmate it. Uh -huh. What about communications? A repair crew's working on it, but too bad there's no telephone pay stations around. Just drop in a dime and pick. That's it, Chief. That's it? It is? What's our location, Lee? About 60 miles northeast of Hawaii, right along the Pacific telephone cable. If we can patch into that cable and contact Pacific Defense, we may be able to stop him yet. I, uh, I hate to bring this up, Admiral, but the scuba gear is in the missile room and so is the alien. We can get out through the pressure hatch room. We've got the old scuba gear there. Mm-hmm. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Chip, Steve, come on. Sir, capsule back in the missile room. Could it really blow up on board, Chip? Possibly, but the, the alien's not going to explode it until it's in orbit. Yes, but could it really be as powerful as he says? I mean, to destroy all life on Earth. I, I don't know. But evidently, he thinks it can and will. I'm not going to give him a chance to test it. <laughs> so even if he's half right, we would be defenseless. Yeah. We've got to get through the Pacific Command. Sure is a long shot. It's the only way we've got to stop the capsule. Well, if they do find the cable, can we get directly through to Pacific Command? No, but somebody might be monitoring the line and pass on the message. I'll never stop the alien. Arch, you standing by? Aye, sir. If they make the connection, I can handle it. for the Pacific Defense Command. If anyone hears me, tell General Cook to lay a radar screen around Seaview's last reported position. If any missile breaks the water there, blast it with everything in the book. 